Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Look, they saying paid seasons might be coming to 2K. Not only are you gonna be spending $150 a build, but now they trying to do paid seasons. GameStop is saying 2K might actually release on 824. The devs are going crazy. They're all talking about gameplay. They're taking shots at the community. Now look. This video right here, if you watched any of my videos all the way through, watch this one. Huey Swan, Preacher Swan is in the building, and it's time to break your realities, my boy, okay? Well, before we get into any of that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 275k.7. We are like 40 subscribers away, and make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. It helps young Swan grow. Now, firstly, this guy DM me a screenshot, and I actually looked it up, and it does say the release day is 824. I don't know if this is maybe just for certain editions. Y'all let me know if at your GameStop, it says 824 on some of the games. It's, I'm confused. I'm bewildered. I don't know if this is promotion or maybe this is the demo and they're confused or, or what. Y'all let me know what y'all think it is. Too. Now, let's see what Dev Demi has to say about Seasons and slashing in general he interacts with the devs the gameplay devs bro i've been telling y'all this people said i'm crazy like bro like these now he's saying it even more i've been telling y'all boys feel like quick drops was so overpowered that it needed to be i'm out of the game or did you think maybe mm. it was limits takeoff i saw people in the comment section mm. was talking about no limits limits takeoff was making it um op but i kind of disagree with that but i'm very curious to know what y'all think look look I'm gonna tell you what it is. I speak on facts, not theory, okay? A lot of new 2K players, they speak on theory. They're trying to create a game that's that's never existed before. They speak on theory, okay? Quick Drop's been in the game. Dunking from super far away, been in the game. What's the difference? What has changed in the game over the years? Defense has been eliminated. The game has went more casual based to cater to the negative win percent NPC, and now it really became a problem. Quick drops, all that has been in the game, junk it from the free throw, whatever, wherever y'all think it's a problem, that's been in the game. But the defense was better. The body ups, the cutoffs, the clamps. When you got there next to him, you could make him miss, stuff like that. It was way better, okay? Sometimes you used to get different animations when you did quick drops back in the um, certain 2Ks. So I speak on fact, not nostalgia. I speak on fact. Y'all speak in theory. Maybe we should do this. But you can look at something else that's already existed and replicate that, mash up all the replications and make a way better 2K. But they keep trying to create something that's never been made. They should and try to innovate upon that instead of try to make NBA live and but but let, let, let's let's keep do you think it's been taken out right or been adjusted or whatever else like that or you know I'm curious to know about that too because there's a couple animations that I know of that I feel like should be um taken out or you know um enhanced look look Demi your mindset is wrong you're not tapped in bro none of y'all are tapped in with the real community the real heart man Y'all keep trying to remove things. That's the problem with 2K. That's why there's such a big uprising verse, y'all. Instead, add defense, boy. Stop trying to eliminate animations and moves and buff the defense. Period. <laughs> it's that simple, bro. Sometimes. Listen, I've already told y'all about this. He's already spoke about it in a space. He's basically leaking the builder and animations right now. Pay attention. Sometimes you don't have to just get rid of an animation. Sometimes you just gotta make it a higher threshold. You know, just make it more expensive to- You hear this? He's saying this for a reason. He's not just saying this not for a reason. So you can expect certain animations to cost way more. That's what he's saying. Get. So even if he was coming to dunk packages, it would still be the same thing. You know, like, you know, there there's dunk packages that might have been low this year that needs to be boosted up. Or So he's saying that possibly in 2K24, a lot of the dunk packages that were, you know, good 
are gonna cost way more straight arm tomahawks they might make all that cost way more but if that's still easy to get is that really doing anything or there might be animations that were really high requirements but people really don't use so then maybe it needs to be lowered right because it's not considered op people don't use it so um I'm trying to give a good example like for instance like everybody knows like you know like sean kemp and all those dunk packages they're really highly rated but people don't really use them because they get blocked a lot so does it mm. is it really worth them being that oh so so they gonna lower them dunks he leak 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 falsely <laughs> whereas clyde drexler scotty pippen and all those those animations russell westbrook those Listen. animations are usually high so maybe you know those should be um fucked right it should be have a higher threshold so maybe only like he, he he's saying he them why would them why would he be saying this but pay attention real slashers can get those right doesn't make sense for a play shot being able to get clyde drexler all right but i spoke on that more oh. when we were on the oh are play shots not gonna be able to get uh crazy dunks this coming year uh, who knows man pay attention have some very strong feelings on seasons uh -huh. but for one i want to say that seasons has been successful right as you know 2k seasons has not been successful um has abilities to look at the data and look at the data they like to say things but not prove it they like to say based on our numbers and all that but they don't show us show us the data seasons has not been successful there no one genuinely likes seasons bro i'm in the field bro i'm in the heart of the community they don't like it the rewards aren't good not even for the casual they don't like it hitting level 40 is still hard for them they might be inspired to keep getting on because the seasons are there it's something fresh new it's just it's how you manipulate human beings bro a new season thing it makes people keep getting on the game and all that but that that doesn't mean they're happy right that doesn't mean that the rewards are a problem okay seasons are okay and all that but the rewards are horrible they're all bad most casuals they can't even hit level 40 they might get one through 25 and all those rewards are trash they're nothing am i speaking facts y'all let me know do y'all like the rewards the copy paste rewards year after year from the seasons they are not they not come on dog to see if seasons have been successful and it's been an overwhelming success right so that's one thing i want to talk about the next thing people talk about and it's it's like 2k can't see even if a number is higher they can't truly see why bro they're not tapped in it's like they don't measure oh even though you might have saw more users is that just because y'all implemented seasons or does that mean customers are like happy like that's not it's not the same variable man it's not just black and white but i felt like hitting legend this year was the hardest legend ever like you had to hit so many different things Hundred thousand points by itself yeah. was enough right but then to have to hit these season these season quests, man, I'm yeah. talking about some of this stuff was telling you to get. Demi, it's not about the grind. This is why I'm saying y'all are not tapped in. Y'all that y'all think y'all are tapped in, but you're not tapped in. Y'all are listening to voices that are delusional, bro. Y'all aren't tapped into the real community. I am. There's others that are. Y'all are, y'all are, you don't understand the consumer, bro. Why would someone, what did, what did dude get? Some badge core patterns, a car, and like four badges? Bro, that is the definition of I don't understand my consumer, bro. Literally, y'all need to tap in. Minimum, he should have got unlimited boost, unlimited Gatorade, and that's not even like nothing fire, but that should be basic requirement, bro. He should have got plus 10 on all the badges and all type of crazy stuff, bro. But yeah, let, let, let's see what else you got to say, man. You know, like in rec, you had to get like a thousand points, 700 assists, a certain amount of rebounds yeah. and steals. Like, I mean, this was the most intense legend attempt ever. So I'm tired of people always saying like, you know, seasons messed up the grind. No, the grind was there. You know, oh yeah, look at that man. That, that's that Jimmy Butler. The, the grind was there. Demi. Right? Hit legend this year was crazy. Demi, so rewards. let's not sit there and think that. Let's 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 wheel, let's wheel that back. Right? <laughs> no rewards, legend grind bro. was harder than it was this year. There was less legend. I don't even care about the the legend grind, bro. 
it's it's just the fact that they don't under i don't know like why there's such like delusion bro it's the reward how is in this just like conveyed and understood why why is this not understood i don't i don't get it i don't know what's so hard to understand it seems so easy to me like these rewards are horrible we gotta switch it up we gotta give them more better things that they actually want that does not seem like a hard concept to grasp and that that's just with 2k in general bro well the seasons doesn't affect your legend grind right the seasons is just something to give uh -huh. you know which all games do fortnite apex call of duty like they have yep. these awards that are never the greatest like just keep it a stack you look at all these other stuff man they just give whoa, you different whoa, skins whoa, and all whoa, that. whoa 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 first off demi don't ever compare 2k to call of duty and apex nobody is spending 150 dollars on their gun or on their character to go play the game to even be able to go compete completely different our reward should be over the top they should literally sh it on apex and call of duty it shouldn't even be comparable fortnite bro those are free entry that you can get on fortnite and go play boy you know you don't have to spend 150 just to have your character usable to play with him right so that's why it's different with 2k y'all seem to not understand that if we spend 150 a bill tighten up y'all think other things are acceptable no it's not acceptable bro 150 a bill the reward better be heat period on the seasons i don't care about no damn legend grind i don't care about the legend grind i'm not a no life i don't have a mental illness my boy we want better season rewards we spend 150 dollars a bill fix it convey our message man what's up with y'all that but like your guns or whatever you want to call it but why is the expectation that for some reason in nba 2k you're supposed bill. to be getting these crazy rewards <laughs> In a season pass. Like, 150 it, it, it's, That's just not realistic, right? Out of touch. Sense. Out of touch. Demi, y'all are out of touch. You don't understand it. Thing, this is basic, bro. I did not hear this before. Out of touch. Y'all are out of touch. It's common sense, bro. It's common sense. We're spending 150 a build. The microtransactions are crazy. Clothes is hella high. Bruh, we want more. I'm speaking, I'm the voice of the people my boy the community wants more i'm telling y'all why every time 2k posts they're getting flamed people feel like this <laughs> bruh people do not want to just get finessed and scammed more and more after year it's annoying and then and then y'all can't supply like bare minimum things come on dog sense right it's like you know well if i hit level 40 i want to be able to have you know unlimited boost <laughs> you know and i just think that that's kind of extreme no, i feel like the things that no we're getting, saying that um, who said that who said that who has ever said that that side of the community they like to say things that just don't make sense and that no one's ever said who's ever said that please i've i've never even seen a person say that bro i've never i've never seen or heard anyone say that bro i swear to you bro not no comments or nothing who has ever said that bro call of duty or that type of deal like you're just getting like oh. cosmetics you get you know some boost here and there you know like you know in cod you get like two times on different weapons and in, in, in nba 2k you get double rep you know you get tokens you get 30 minutes you get an hour whatever that be but i feel like shoot you still get like ultra badge attributes you still get arm that sleeves, like you still get things that just- The arm sleeves are useless. They don't have no effect to nothing, bro. Out of touch, bro. The plus badge point, that's a cool reward, bro. Demi, you're sitting here defending the reward system. Who actually like really agrees with you, Demi? Y'all, like you're defending it, bro. This makes no sense adjust y'all keep trying to say like all this move on and all that y'all move on we telling you we don't like it change it make it better move on evolve adjust move forward right stop hanging on to ideas that we're telling you we don't like y'all are living in nostalgia we don't like it bro okay fix it we don't like the rewards bro it bro I, when i talk to everyone the community i'm in game chat more than any other person in in 2k history bro they don't like the they don't like they want better stuff you feel me i've given out so many different ideas for rewards bro come on man
equates to that. But then what would be next level? Now, you know, these other ones, they have to pay for the seasons. So if there was a pay Whoa. Um, option, then maybe the expectation Whoa. would be obviously to have more significant. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Is Demi trying to test run 2K making us pay for season? Is he sprinkling this in? To, is he planting the seeds to try and get y'all to... Whoa! <laughs> Bro, 2K is crazy! Oh my god! Yo! Yo! Yo, not only 150 a bill, but then they want us to pay for the season? Oh my god! Oh my god bro oh my god listen do not accept this consumer this is all y'all bro y'all have the voice y'all are the numbers bro y'all gotta go crazy you know but just make it to where you can't get blocked right unless you're gonna use your burner but i'm telling you y'all can't let stuff like this slide do not accept this don't let them sprinkle in these ideas we bro if they even trying to make us pay for seasons the build gotta be cut times 10 not no 150 make it 10 dollars. you want to make someone pay for a season look look they, they're gonna probably say oh they're a free season and then their season with the crazy rewards bro don't don't accept two bro they're gonna do it bro they're throwing it in bro oh my god what if this was a plan to have terrible season rewards like normal probably even worse than way worse than normal and then they're gonna have like higher better season rewards oh my god or you just get to level 40 and you get no rewards and then they have like cool bruh they finna do us bad y'all gotta fight dog it's it's up to y'all the community bro it's really up to y'all damn damn that's crazy bro just when you thought the microtransactions couldn't get worse um rewards right because you have the free version and on apex call of duty and fortnite and then you also have the paid version so oh maybe God. if there was a paid version what y'all think about that if there was a paid version that gave y'all oh some crazy God. rewards would y'all be up for it or oh would you God. be like here's 2k again trying to get more money oh yes demi what are you talking about Demi, I hope they paying you good, boy. Bro, Demi, I hope they paying you good. Oh, my God. Bro, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, your pockets better be fat. Uh, I, 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 know, I know they already got you right, Demi. I know they got you right. But, damn, this is crazy. This is, oh, my God. I never even, bro, I never thought that, is this never actually popped into my mind that 2K might actually do this, bro. Well, actually it did. I'm lying. Da, 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 da. It's already expensive. So it's always a lose-lose situation with 2K. No matter what 2K does, <laughs> no, people are always going to complain. But maybe that might be the, 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 the I guess you can say the, the medium for that. No, no, Demi. We spent 150 bill, uh, dollars a build. Give us immaculate rewards. No. Y'all, what is Oh my god. Bro, community, how 2K community, how do y'all let stuff like this fly year after year and there's no true outrage? Like y'all don't stand up for yourself, man. <laughs> I I'll never understand. Is to have not only a free version, but like you know, you pay like 999 or something like that. I'm not even sure what the um season passes are. But you know, if there was something like that, and then it's like if you paid it and you hit level 40, you got like unlimited boost, maybe that would be the trade-off, right? Hit level 40, got a limited boost. Oh my god. Oh, this is genius, bro. This is genius, bro. They really got y'all in a chokehold, man. You know, you got the free version and the unlimited boost version. So I think that that might be something that people um, <laughs> might need or might want or I don't know. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Should Seasons have a paid version, right? A paid version of Seasons apart, you know, um, Xbox versus PlayStation, right? You know, instead of having like, you know, affiliations. Uh, leak, leak. Hey, he, 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 he could be leaking something about this. In the park, you know, we've had that for the past couple times. What if it's just like, you know, you know, every month it's Xbox versus PlayStation. Every month, Xbox versus PlayStation. Uh, Demi leaking, leaking. Hey, I like the leak. Shout, shout, shout out to Demi for the uh, the content, man. Given the leaks and all that, you know. Even though we differ in opinions about the uh, 2K dramatically, you know, I think in like in real life, I think he might like be like a cool dude. You know, he used to play sports. Everyone who plays sports, I automatically get along with him, bro. On like a higher level than normal people. They're like. 
people who play sports in general are just better people for various reasons. But hey, man, but when it come to 2K, you know, so so it ain't personal, man. I don't, I don't want you thinking, you know, but I just I don't I don't like how you feel about 2K, my boy. Type of event, type of deal. Um, what if there's like mini tournaments um, that mini tournaments? He's saying there might be some Xbox and PlayStation mini tournaments. Why would he even bring this up? Even even if it's not implemented in 24, maybe 25 and 26. You know, he, he associated. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Allows Xbox and PlayStation players to play each other to get double XP. You know, just something like, you know, like that. Like, I think that's a pretty dope idea. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Again, I'm interested to see what y'all think. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. But I think that'd be pretty dope, right? Um, we also got to take in consideration what this does for the servers, right? You're going to be looking at uh, an opportunity to where parks are going to be absolutely just full, right? I mean, there's going to be a... He's saying parks absolutely full. Demi, you better not be lying, bro. The true problem why people can't get back-to-back -back games is there's too many courts and the amount of people allowed in the server is not enough. So you either have to decrease the courts and put them close together or you have to raise the number of people in the damn park. It's that simple. Y'all don't seem to understand this, man. That's how people get back-to-back -back games. A influx. And can go on streaks, etc. You can't even go on streaks no more, bro. It's not just user behavior, bro. It has to do with how many people's allowed in the park. There's too many options. If every game's running and you got people on the got next, like, you feel me? That's going to create more of an atmosphere of, man, I want to play anyway. So they're going to go to the streak too. Of players that are just going to be in dedicated servers. So there's no longer a split between the games. So now there's going to be more games that's going to be played. He's saying dedicated servers. 2K gonna have dedicated servers? Okay. I hope, bro. Right? So there's not gonna be none of these going into a server and it's be like, man, there's no one here. This gonna be like, yo, going to a server, but man, it's packed. You know what I mean? The dots are filled, oh, right? People are waiting, ready to go. <laughs> so that might be an adjustment as time goes on, you know, be like, you know, trying to find a way to be able to get more games played because I'm pretty sure yeah. there's going to be some ways, right? Because there's going to be an influx of players all in these dedicated servers now. Please. But of course, you know, I'm pretty sure 2K might have a lot more, but it's a lot more servers. But obviously, this should be a balance, right? Because I'd rather go into a park, see people on that. I mean, if someone really does have a problem with it, just go play matchmaking unless the park has become matchmaking. I don't know, though, because I, I don't know how 2K is going to pull off crossplay. I ain't going to hold you, bro. I have no faith. I'm glad they implemented it and all that, but it's like, Bro, I'm so scorned. Y'all let me know if y'all think they really gonna pull it off. But um, you also got the theaters and all that type stuff where games are gonna be played automatically, so that gotta be taken into consideration too. But to me, I'm excited about the fact that there will be, you know, an influx of just players waiting on dots. There's gonna be an influx of just games that you're gonna be able to have dedicated in the park because even though, you know, a lot of the theater to me is really dope. I love going to the theater a lot sometimes. I just wanna immediately play games back to back to back to back to back. But if you have this now with Xbox and PlayStation together, that's gonna be, even more games that you're going to be able to play without having to worry about to theater. So then that to me, I like that because it's just better. Tweets like this is why VC prices will never be lowered ever because this right here is going to scare and put in place so many different creators that y'all y'all just don't get it. They're going to stop voicing their opinions because they want to get wind and dine. They want to go out there. They want to gameplay test the game. They want to come back with that early feedback. But what does this all create? It creates a war between creators. The whole reason the next makers and logos exist is so VC prices can keep getting higher every year. That is the sole reason. 2K does not care about helping creators, getting feedback from creators. They do not care, bro. The only reason this exists is to shut down the voice, to shut down the creator. Why do you think he's tweeting this? Like genuinely, why do you think Demi's tweeting this? Think, think, think about it. What does he benefit in tweeting this? What does, like genuinely think about it. What does he truly benefit in dispelling this and shutting down a bunch of creators and putting a bunch of people in line? What is this? What, like really think about it. This makes the company love so he can keep getting that check, my boy. It's just like with Sin. Sin, for instance, I inspired him to ISO, right? That path created because of the swan. But he wants to come at me, someone who literally ISOs, just because I'm roasting the game, right? 
right? But it's 2K sicking their dogs on certain people, right? And they're doing it because they're getting paid. The company likes that. Go after the people that's exposing us and we're going to reward you. Good boy, right? That's why they're doing this. This is going to keep Demi in great graces. It's going to keep stacks in great graces. What is the point in tweeting this? Like, really think about it. To control people. To shut people down. To control voices, right? Like, I, I like how Baluba just doesn't attack the community. I like how LD just don't attack the community. I like how Ronnie don't just attack the community. But it seems like these outside people beyond them people, like, y'all just keep attacking people that's for the people. But then, these guys say they for for the people when they're for the company and they're sitting here i don't know what's up with the 2k community i don't know how y'all can't see this someone like me i'm straight for the people i'm the voice of the people it's literally what i am my boy they are the voice of the company do y'all think any of them next makers and logo guys can really go hard on vc prices what if builds end up going 200 a year 300 a year how are voices ever going to get big enough they they keep adding more inflation more you keep having to spend more and more and more with 2k how is the consumer's voice ever going to get big enough if the community is split bro it can't that's why the logos and next makers is very destructive and toxic y'all com the community is the only one that can stop this right but it, it seemed like some of y'all be like on their side because they feel because they want the game to be a certain way because you're a casual npc right so you're on their side yeah roast those guys who want that damn dribble dribble that left right that stupid unlimited stamina the little cheese heads but you don't understand you are directly empowering someone that is directly against you use your head bro so many big Big creators are not going to speak just because of all these tweets that they keep doing and there's a lot of behind scenes talks like they talk to them get them in the discords all type of stuff they recruiting them they shutting them down look this is how you could tell if a creator is real and for you he never speaks about the vc prices he's not for you my boy he is not for you all everything else is cap if he's not for if he is not talking about how much it costs to play the game he's not for you bro he is an agent not agent zero but he is an agent okay he's not for you hold them accountable it's the only way i'm trying to help y'all bro now demi did another tweet attacking the community okay let's get into this let's break this down Okay, I don't know if he's doing this for very not needed. I don't know why they keep doing this, bro. But he says, I'm astounded that some people still don't understand the proper etiquette for game critique. As someone who frequently communicates directly with the developers, I told y'all, I don't feel the need to broadcast this. Yes, you do, because y'all keep talking about this. It's interesting how many creators are well aware of the right channels for feedback. We even have a dedicated discord for public discourse. That, none of that does nothing. Let's get real. Let's get real. Many critiques are merely for internet popularity. Now, let's body bag young Demi. Let's, let, let's, let's respond to that real quick. 2K or any company does not listen unless there is an outrage. Period. They measure the outrage. If it's crazy enough, they're going to do something, buddy. That's how it works. We're never going to be able to affect the dollar. You cannot control that many people to, hey, stop buying the game. Stop doing VC. It's just not going to work. So what you got to do is your voice. We got to get on the Twitter and turn into Karens. People see in the community, in this community, you know, black people, etc. It's it's not cool to complain. In other communities, they complain, they get changed. They shut it down. They don't play that. They contact sponsors. They don't play that. They but we don't do that cuz that that stuff's not cool. We don't go that far. Right? But th this goes with anything in life, man. If you're all being positive, hey, you guys should uh buff paint defense. Uh, Oh, y'all can't do that because of this? Oh, okay. That doesn't work. It doesn't work, man. I'm behind the scenes, bro. I've been talking to everyone who's made, helped made the game, Game Plus, everyone. I've spoke to everybody, bro. I know how it worked to a T. 
but they they don't listen to people giving nice polite feedback when when they changed the 2v2 what happened a uproar they switched it back even though I, I like the way they changed it but they switched it back you feel me what what happened in uh 2k16 all them damn npcs was crying they took out speed boosting right what happened in 2k15 they complained the shooting was too hard right and then they made the shooting very easy patch three patch four they made the shooting very easy it used to be hard bro right look how the movements changed used to take way more skill used to use way comp used to use actual real moves right people complained and cried so much outrage and now look at this slow clunk, clunky gameplay so truly all that polite stuff you only do that when you're a part of the 2k illuminati bro if you're outside the 2k illuminati the only way to get heard is to go crazy and aspire an army like the swan to convey your message so people might people might not think i'm the most like very impact bro i'm one of the most impactful people in 2k history i impact creators that then impact their fan base and then those people impact other people right i'm impacting millions with my thoughts right y'all think i'm not being heard by 2k do y'all not see all the viral tweets i'm tweeting all the videos i'm talking about do, do y'all know everything that has to do with like comp related iso movement they check in to see my thoughts creators check in to see what i think they see my thoughts about stuff right so i'm being heard my boy even if they choose not to listen y'all are feeling my side even though y'all might say i'm toxic or whatever y'all are feeling what i say regardless i'm being heard my boy this is the best way for for anything to happen that being nice hey guys can you add some defense hey can you make the momentum crossover can you can you buff paint defense people have been saying this for years that nice stuff don't work okay but the only way you have to filter is so you don't get blocked right you might want to do it on a burner like the crazy stuff but you don't want to get blocked so you got to do enough but just you know that that's the only type of filter that you truly need bro and then he's saying for popularity right this is not true it is proven now i've been playing 2k since the first 2k bro when people used to go over people crib facebook leagues all different type of stuff go to people houses play them play them blah 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 right people been roasting 2k this is a normal thing people been saying the game was horrible and trash and all that this is a normal thing even before twitter existed before the net existed before youtube existed and if anything it's literally proven if you double twist the game and don't speak negative about it you will have a way better chance of seeing more success if you're fake positive about the game why do you think there's so many fake positive people in life in general because there's truly actually more viewership it really compete with that you know it's really not for internet popularity bro bro just look at the people who's really doing great like right now like how what what type of people are you feel me you're not getting no real uh internet popularity off of just roasting the game bro bro go and tweet out i bro if i tweet it out right now nba 2k 23 is the best 2k ever it will get 500k impression if i just said a bunch of positive things there's a lot of like you know if, if i defended the man bro but yeah bro i mean to i mean I, I i believe it's actually opposite bro like internet popularity like if you defend the game and you're just fake positive, you know, and you get a chance to go out there and stuff, you get a logo, even though I don't really do much, next maker, say you get to fly out though. All the people that's defending the game, they get to fly out and get exclusive. Doesn't that, doesn't you defending the game directly mean that you're like doing that for internet popularity? You're coming back with footage, you're coming back to talk about the game and all that, right? So isn't that actually reversed? I would say critiquing the game kind of like alienates you it makes certain people not mess with you all the people defending the game bro they just want to be a part of the 2k illuminati bro 
to be honest. They want to get wined and dined, and they want that uh, early boost to their channel. That's what it is. You know, they're completely lying about how they actually feel about the game and how they feel about the company. The people speaking honestly, they're speaking up for the people, the consumer. Then he says, the 2K doesn't listen to me argument is baseless. Uh, is it really? 2K listens, sometimes they don't, bro. Uh, there's been a bunch of next makers who have ex left the next makers and completely exposed it, saying their voice is unheard. Um, people was talking about the Russell Westbrook cross. Y'all did not patch it all year. Bro, it's all a lie, bro. Like, I hold the same weight as anybody in Next Makers, bro, to be honest. My voice get loud enough, you gonna hear my people and other people that think just like. There's plenty of people who have almost a million subscribers spreading my message or people that have really high hundreds of thousands or streamers sharing my exact voice. So, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, bro. But he says... We've seen many of our suggestions come to life. Where, where's the paint D? Where's the perimeter defense? Uh, but yeah, man. sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. And then even 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 when they do listen, it's poor execution. That's the difference. They might listen to us with something. They it's poorly executed. It's not executed how we want it. Developers highly value honest, constructive feedback for the game improvement. So let's dispel this myth. Chris it recklessly and then playing victim when being overlooked for opportunities is hyper critic who is he talking about because I, I know he can't be talking about me he got to be talking about like badge and the df guys right but i don't even feel like they're that bad besides maybe like the luck guy maybe he go a little too but it's like i don't bro i think if you mention vc prices like in a certain way bro i don't think they mess with you dog i ain't gonna hold you man to be honest but then he says would you stand on your desk at your nine to five to publicly bash it no you'd go to hr the same principle applies as an independent contractor to collaborate with other publishers the sooner this is understood the sooner success follows now look all 2k creators out there 2k does not pay you to become one of the select few to get paid you have to be like one of the 10 15 20 are you gonna beat those people every year you feel me are you gonna double twist good enough to get paid by 2k probably not so your minds well be on it because you're gonna eventually turn it i agree with this point i don't but i don't know who he's talking about like who could he be talking about i don't see like anyone like going crazy hard y'all think he's just talking about badge and them df guys because i i don't really see uh like anybody that's like going crazy hard and then like crying about not flying out or something like that you know i don't know but yeah, man. This guy right here, you know, I skimmed through the comments a little bit. Actually, I skimmed for like one second. He said, don't shift the blame. Playing victim because 0 .001 of the player base is mean online. But guess what? Guess what? Why, why, why do they make all these tweets when y'all heard like Demi say that, bro, you're 0.001% of the community. Your opinion doesn't matter. If our opinion don't matter, why do y'all keep making tweets about us? Our opinion has to matter. Next makers and logos only exist to control our opinion. Literally. Let's speak facts, right? But our opinion don't matter. I don't know. It's not adding up. Then he says, does not excuse 2K's lack of response to immediately pressing issues. For the past four years, we get one patch that takes four months to release and addresses and then addresses one big issue and then it's vacation time. Damn. Bro, he's spitting facts. <laughs> he they they really do bro 2k they really do be doing one big patch and they disappear it's crazy bro if the sentiment among the people employed by 2k is to ignore all criticism because of the teenage youtuber spams fix the servers ronnie and curses at you on the internet then i'm not sure why any of you are working on the game or in the position of power slash authority mm, stretch daily <laughs> then he says every day some 2k employee comes on here and whines about the community there is obviously a culture of animosity towards the customers being drilled into all of you there and it's getting pathetic bro 
brother is woke. Y'all gotta stand up for yourself, bro. Y'all gotta stop getting tricked. The infighting we're having about how the game should be played, it's bigger than that, bro, to be honest. But yeah, y'all won't believe what's going on in this 2K24 video right here. Y'all make sure y'all click on it, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.